Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be starting by looking at our extrude function here. So let's go to create a sketch, and we'll create a sketch on this bottom plane. Now we're going to draw our two point rectangle. It doesn't really matter the size of it, because what we're looking at is this extrude function. So we're going to select it, and it had already selected our sketch here, and we're just going to pull it out. Now there's a couple directions that we can do. First, this is one-sided. This means that it will only drag out from one distance. Now you can also choose to do two sides, which means you have individual control over both sides, or you can choose to do symmetric. And that means that whatever distance you drag out on one side, it will do the other side as well. So let's finish that. Now we're going to draw another sketch right on top of this block right here. We're going to select our center diameter circle and we're going to find that midpoint. So it's right there, we're just going to drag that out and select it. Now we're going to use the extrude function and we're going to drag it and we want to cut all the way through, right? So let's cut all the way until we see that it's all the way through. So we'll press OK and you'll see that cuts all the way through the entire block. Well, I want this block to be longer, maybe it's for a project or something. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to drag it out. And now you see it's still cut out, but it's not cut out on the bottom. Now the problem is what we did over here in this extrude was we gave it a distance. And this is a specific distance that will always stay the same. What we wanted to do, however, was select two object. Because when you select two object, you can click down here and that will cut all the way through and it will cut all the way to that face no matter what. So now you can see that if we change our distance here, we'll make it even longer. You'll press OK and you'll see both sides are cut out still. So that's really useful. Additionally, we can also take any planar face and we can extrude it as well. So like this face right here, we can extrude that, just make it a little bit longer. Or we can do the same thing for the top face here. Again, it all depends on what you want and it makes it really nice to be able to modify things as we go along. The extrude feature is probably one of the most used features that you're going to see because everything that you're going to be doing is sketching and then extruding it into a three-dimensional object. So please like and subscribe, comment down below what you guys like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.